give us the number. What did they tell you about that 40 time? Uh, I heard uh, numbers as low as 431, as high as 438. Uh, pretty good day. As high as 438, is that what you just said? Yes, sir. That was the highest? Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, is that what you were planning on doing? Uh, definitely. I mean, uh, you know your numbers coming in. It's all about uh, are you going to go out and do the same things you do uh, when you were training? And that's exactly what I did. Do you think you opened some eyes here today? I hope so. I mean, it, it, that, that never hurts anything. Uh, but I, I think I definitely wanted to come out and show how explosive I was, how fast I was, the way that I can move, adjust to the ball. And I, and I did all of those things today. And I look forward to continuing to show that in uh, my private workouts. What were your other numbers, Dan? Uh I didn't get all of my other numbers, but I know I jumped uh, 42 vert. I think it was a 10-5 broad. Uh, so uh, I didn't get the, the three cone or the short shuttle, but definitely a really good all-around day for me. How satisfying was it that to not be able to take part in the down? It was huge. Uh, I think that was uh, one of the most frustrating experiences of my life uh, to be held out of it. Uh, it's something that uh, I couldn't take back or change because I'm a really competitive guy, man. You, you put cleats on me and, and cleats on other guys, and I definitely want to go out and show what I can do. So it, it was tough, but everything happens for a reason. I was able to come here and definitely show people what, what I wasn't able to do at the combine. Given that, how important did you see today? Oh, it was huge. Uh, I think there's a lot of unanswered questions. Uh, how fast is he? How explosive is he? Uh, can he flip? Can he go up and get the ball? Uh, I think a lot of those questions I was able to answer. Um, and if not, I'll, I'll answer even more of them in my, in my private workouts. What exactly happened down at the combine with the physical? Um, they saw red flags with some of my x-rays. Um, definitely told me that I, no way that I could go. Uh, cried, balled my, balled my eyes out. It was rough. Like I said, I'm really competitive. Mm -hmm. And I went out there set on competing. Uh, turns out I sent, uh, sent my x-rays to some of the best doctors out there and got cleared. Uh, so it was really tough knowing that I should have been running and didn't. But uh, the combine has really strict rules as far as you know the way that they operate. And uh, you have to respect that. Um, I thank them for the opportunity. I still got a chance to get out there and, and interview and meet a lot of important people out there. Did that give you an extra hard? edge not, not being able to compete, knowing that this was your shot? Maybe a little bit, but that edge is always there. I mean, when you get to a level this high, uh, you have to bring everything you got every time you step on that field. Uh, so I was going to bring it the same in the combine, but just definitely having to wait a week and a half longer than I, I was expecting uh, definitely kind of ticks you off a little bit, but, you know, the end result is fine. We'll also find out the doctors, right? Down there that... uh, I, I met with every team doctor, and I also met with the combine officials. They never told me uh, who exactly ruled me out. Was it the combine? Was it team doctors? I'm honestly not sure about that, uh, but, I mean, that's something that you guys could ask. Are you worried about that? You worried the teams are going to look at you as Not a potential at all. red flag? Then? I don't think uh, there'll be any red flags because, uh, uh, like I said, I sent my x-rays out to the best doctors out there. Uh, uh, Dr. Bob Watkins, everyone knows who he is. Uh, definitely cleared me, uh, told me, and he didn't see very much of anything at all. So every team will get that report, um, and you, 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 they'll definitely clear you, and hopefully that won't be on that list at all. Well, what exactly was it? Uh, so what I heard was I never actually saw a doctor. Uh, I got a text that went to the uh, guy who ran the combine, and he showed me he said I had a fracture in my C5 vertebrae. I've never injured my neck before in my career. I think I would know if I fractured my vertebrae. Uh, turns out uh, I sent it to Dr. Bob Watkins, the same guy who works on Peyton Manning, uh, and he told me there is no fracture, especially not in the C5. If anything, there's a slight herniation um, in the C4. Uh, wasn't very much of anything. Uh, and he, he definitely told me I should have been out there running, uh, which really angered me. But at the end of the day, the light at the end of the tunnel means uh, I don't have a fractured neck. So that's the most important thing. Uh, I'm excited about that, and I'm ready to move forward. Was it scary when you got Oh, definitely scary. I mean, if someone walks up to you and say, hey, listen, this is wrong with your neck. Uh, your neck is basically fractured. Uh, you walk around like, uh, like <laughs> is it really? Uh, so it was a tough couple of days. Uh, most importantly, the rest of my life. I want to be, be healthy, uh, be able to bend down, pick my kids up, play with them. Uh, but then secondly, uh, secondly, I wanted to compete. I wanted to go get everything I had, everything I did today, I wanted to do at the combine. Uh, so so it, was, it was frustrating. But like I said, everything happens for a reason. And hopefully that reason was I got to come here and compete. So you have no idea what caused that? No, no idea at all. Um, like I said, uh, Dr. Bob Watkins cleared me. It doesn't really get much better than him. Uh, so uh, I'll be excited when you know, all NFL teams know that. Uh, know that I didn't stay out of the combine for my own reasons. Uh, I wanted to go compete. That's who I am. Uh, and then I'm, I'll look forward to moving forward. You know, Did you still get the interview with them? Yes, yeah, sorry. I interviewed with uh, every team down there. I had some formal interviews with uh, maybe half the league. Uh, it was really productive weekend besides not being able to run.
Did you try to back south that bird today? Uh, you yeah. gone even I, I know I could have went higher, maybe an inch or two, uh, but 42, hey, I'll take it. Uh, it's definitely a number that's, uh, that's out there. Not many guys uh, will reach that number. Uh, so it, at the end of the day, it shows I'm really explosive. Uh, shows that I can go out there and jump, uh, explode, uh, get out of my hips, and that's the most important. What were you expecting with the 40? Is this what 